As you know already, in the accounting flow, first is the business transaction. Business transaction can be any sale or purchase activity performed in a business. It can be any transaction where money is involved. After the business transaction, the main accounting starts from the creating journal entries for the business transaction. For creating journal entries, it requires some rules. Such rule is named as three golden rules of accounting standards. Yes, such rule is named as three golden rules of accounting standards. There are three kinds of account. They are personal account, real account and nominal account. Let's see the rules for those different account from scratch and also in detail. First is personal account. Personal account relates to person with whom a business keeps the dealings. If a person receives anything from the business, he is called as receiver and his account is to be debited in the books of the business. If the person gives anything to the business, means if the person gives anything to the business, then he is called as a giver and his account is to be credited in the books of the business. Getting that? So, the golden rule for personal account is debit the receiver and credit the giver. Which is the first golden rule for the personal account? It is debit the receiver and credit the giver. It is as simple as that. The next account is real account. Guys, we are done with the personal account and we got the first golden rule. Now, let's move on to the next account that is real account. Real account relates to the property which may either come into the business or go from the business. If any property or goods comes into the business account of that property or goods is to be debited in the books of the business. If any property or goods goes out from the business, account of that property or goods is to be credited in the books of business. Let me repeat, if any property or goods comes into the business Account of that property or goods is to be debited in the books of the business. Okay? If any property or goods goes out from the business, account of that property or goods is to be credited in the books of business. So, the golden rule for real account is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Which is the second golden rule? It is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. So guys, the next account, what we are going to know is the nominal account. We are done with the personal account, we are done with the real account and now it is nominal account. Nominal account is an account that relates to business expenses, loss, income and gains. If business incurs expense to manage and run business, account of that expense, yes, account of that expense is to be debited in the books of business. When a business earns income by rendering services or hiring business assets, an account of that income is to be credited in the books of business. So guys, on the other hand, if in the case of the transaction of sale or purchase, if any loss is incurred by the business, account of that loss is to be debited in the books of the business. If in the transaction of sale or purchase, then any profit is earned by the business before it was a loss incurred. But any profit is earned by the business, then account of that profit is to be credited in the books of the business. The third golden rule is debit all expenses and loss and credit all income and gains. So guys, in accounting, there are always two entries involved. Yes, there are always two entries involved. That is one credit and one debit entry. So total debit should be equal to the total credit. Correct, right? Total debit should be equal to the total credit. That's the reason. Yes, that's why we call it as a double entry book. Keeping. It is called as double entry bookkeeping. Two entries will be posted. 
Yes, always the two entries will be posted and these entries are known as journal entries in accounting. From the first video, I was talking about the journal entry, journal entry, journal entry. You might be scratching your heads if you are not from the financial background. But now you got to know what is the journal entry. That is the two entries will be posted and these entries are known as journal entries in accounting. As an SAP FICO consultant, it is very important to understand the common journal entries which account to debit and also account to credit. Because based on your journal entries, understand this, based on your journal entries, GL accounts are posted, trial balance is calculated, profit loss account entry is made and finally the balance sheet is prepared. Are you understanding? If there is any mistake in your journal entry, yes, if there is any mistake in your journal entry, then all the next steps will have the wrong values. Hence, it is very important to have the correct journal entry. Got it? To understand how journal entries are made, first you need to know the examples for each type of accounts. Then we will proceed to exercise to post the journal entries. So guys, please go through it more than once if you are from non-finance background. Okay? All the best.